Okay, for this project, I'm using um, Red Heart Super Saver, and I'm using this Caron Sparkle Yarn, the kind with the sparklies in it. But they're both 4-ply worsted weight acrylic, so any 4-ply yarn will work. And I'm going to be using a size I, and it's a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. So you want to start out with a slip knot on your hook. And then you want to start off with a chain of three. And you can use a magic circle too if you want to use that. And go ahead and slip stitch into the first stitch to form a ring. And now you want to chain three. And that chain three is going to count as a double crochet. And then you want to yarn over and go back through the center of the ring and do another double crochet. Like that. And again. Like that. You want to do that. You want to have a total of 12 double crochets counting this chain three through the center here. So just keep going around doing double crochets until you get a total of 12. There's 10, 11, and 12. And once you get your 12 double crochets, no, don't forget we're counting that chain 3 as one, you want to slip stitch into the top of that chain 3, and that will close out the round. And just like that. Now if you pull your your tail you should close that circle up pretty tight just like that now what you want to do is chain three again and we're going to go back into the same stitch that we just slip stitched into and do another double crochet so counting that chain three we have two double crochets in that same stitch so now we want to go to the next stitch and put two doubles in that stitch And we're going to put two doubles in every stitch all the way around back to the beginning. And when you get back around, you should have a total of 24 stitches. So I'm going to continue around putting two double crochets in every stitch until I get back around to the beginning. Okay, once you made it all the way back around and you got two double crochets in every stitch, you want to go ahead and slip stitch into the top of your beginning chain three again. And then I'm going to tie this off and I'm going to switch colors. Go ahead and clip it with my dull scissors. <laughs> Just like that. So that's what you got so far. Now you want to start with your next color, whatever color you want to use. And I always start with a slip knot. Just like that. And you can start in any stitch that you want to start in. And just go ahead and pull through that slip knot that's on your hook. Like that. And I want to start off the chain three, which counts as a double crochet. And I'm going to go back into the same stitch and do another double crochet. So there's two doubles in the same stitch. Now I'm going to chain two, and I'm going to go back in the same stitch and do 
two more doubles. So what I'm forming right now is a corner of a square. Now I'm going to work my way across in each one of these stitches, putting a one half double in each of the next five stitches. We're working half doubles now. So one, two, three, four, and five. And now I want to work a corner again where I put two doubles. Chain two and two more doubles. Just like that. And now I'm going to work one half double crochet in each of the next five stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. And then I want to work another corner of two doubles, a chain two, and two more doubles. Okay, now I'm going to work one half double crochet in each of the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, and five. And then again, you want to work a corner right here of two doubles, a chain two and two more doubles chain two two more doubles my yarn keeps getting tangled down there and I apologize if you can hear my kids in the next room they're being kind of rowdy and now I want to put one half double in the remaining five stitches So that's how we got it looked like it's pretty squared off. Now you want to slip stitch into the top of the beginning chain three and that will close that round out. Okay now I'm going to go around it again and I'm going to do a chain three and that's going to count as my first double crochet and now I'm going to put a double crochet into the next stitch. And then when I get to the corner, I want to do what I did in the other corners. Two doubles, a chain two, and two more doubles. So we're pretty much doing the same thing we did in the last round, except we're not doing half doubles anymore. Since we got it squared off, we're just going to be working doubles all the way around. And you want to make sure you get this stitch here. Sometimes you got to pull these stitches back. It hides. It's the very first one. If you don't get it, it's going to be crooked. So I'm just working around now, putting one double crochet in every stitch. And when I get to my corners, I'm going to be putting two doubles, chain two, and two more doubles in each corner. And then I'm just going to continue working around 
until I get back to the beginning. So I'm going to go ahead and finish that out and I'll meet you back over here. Okay, after I finished that last row, I just went ahead and did one more row, the exact same thing, double crochets. And in the corners, I did the same, just to make it bigger, but you don't even have to make it this big if you don't want. It's completely up to you. And I went ahead and tied off. Now you want to, I'm going to start with a slip knot of another color. And you can start anywhere that you want. I'm just going to start up here in the corner. And I'm going to go through that slip knot that's on my hook. I'm going to go into the same spot and do two single crochets, a chain two, and then two more single crochets and the same corner stitch like that. And now I'm going to work my way across putting one single crochet in every stitch. And I'm going to make sure I get this first stitch, pull this back, otherwise it's going to be crooked. So I'm doing the same thing that I just did on the previous row, except for I'm using single crochet instead of double. So I'm going to work my way around, putting one single crochet in every stitch. And in the corners, I'll do my two single crochets, a chain two, and two more single crochets in every corner. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this until I get back to my starting point. And once you make it all the way around, just go ahead and slip stitch into that first single crochet that you did. And then I'm going to tie this off. And then you can hide all your tails now if you want. Pull out my corners a little bit. And that's what I got so far. Now for the, got to make the ears, so I'm going to set this to the side for a minute. And we're going to do this the same way that we did that big black circle, but start with the slip knot. And you want to start with a chain of three, or the magic circle, whichever one you prefer. Slip stitch into the first stitch to form a ring. Chain three counts as our first double crochet. Now just like in the beginning we need a total of 12 double crochets counting that chain three. Once you get your 12 you just slip stitch into the first chain three and then you want to clip a long tail that's all we're going to do on this is one round this way the long tail you can sew it on your project with and then if you pull that beginning tail it'll make that circle smaller and then you want to make two of these the same size and then we can sew them on with our yarn needle like that. So once you get them, I'll probably just put them even up here with the corners like that. Um, go ahead and get your yarn needle and use your tail and just go ahead and sew it on. I'm just sewing it right next to remove that the black. It's like this, it's straight on. And then back up. And I'm going to do this all the way around. My whole circle. And I'm going to do this to both of them. And again, I apologize, my kids are so loud. I, I got four of them and I can't, I can't keep them and keep them quiet. They're rowdy kids.
just like this and I'm going to do this do it the same do my other one the exact same try to get them as straight as possible just like that so I'm going to go ahead and do my other one real quick to get them sewed on you can be done if you want I'm actually going to make a couple little buttons put down here if you have buttons you can sew them on I'm just going to crochet some show you how to do that real quick we're going to start with the slip knot it's real easy start with the chain three slip stitch into the first stitch to form your ring chain one now I'm going to go through the center of the ring and do six single crochets so there's one two three four five six and slip stitch into the first one to close it off like that and clip the long tail again so we can sew it on with and then you can pull your center circle and if it still has a little hole in it like that which it might take your yarn needle and load it up onto the tail that you just pulled and I just weave it in across that little circle across that opening and you won't even be able to see that opening and then it off this one off and you'll need two of these and then just use your other tail to sew it on with and you just sew it on the same way so I'm gonna go ahead and get mine sewed on okay I got my little um, button sewed on and that's it that's all I'm gonna do and I hope you enjoyed my tutorial I hope you were able to follow along okay don't forget to check me out on Facebook and check out all my other tutorials and until next time have a good day